in the heart of the Zooza. Who are you? I am Mr. Zooza, the source of all the surprise eggs in Kitty Zooza land. You mean? Yes. Wow. And I need your help to stop someone. Who? That I cannot say. Is it Malice? Yes. You know her? She's the reason why I'm here. She stole my surprise egg, you see. So I gave her a moustache. And then she chased me. I hid in the cupboard and, well, now I'm here. Yes, well, that's not the only surprise egg she's stolen. Huh? You see, the more eggs she steals, the weaker I become, and the more powerful she becomes. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, she has to be stopped. <gasps> well, there's no time to lose. Let's... You have to stop her. I cannot leave this realm. I am too weak. The fate of Kitty Zuzaland rests on your shoulders. But how will I defeat her? A whisk? What's that for? When the time comes, you'll know. <sighs> Wish me luck, Mr. Zuza. Good luck, Lydia. Olivia. Whatever. Well, very good, but don't think ha ha ha. I'm going to. <sighs> Just give up, Olivia. You're no match for my powers now. Oh, she's right. I've got no chance. When the time comes, you'll know. Worst enemy! Alice! I thought you'd gone! Prepare to be defeated! Oh, you're a fool, Olivia! A fool! Mark my words. Mark them! Esme. Uh -huh. Do you ever feel full? Nope. It's just fuel for the engines, Olivia. Seriously, Esme. You shouldn't eat that many sweets. It isn't good for you. Plus, you know what they say, you are what you eat. Exactly, and I am sweet. <laughs> anyway, I better get going. My ping pong team's got a big game this afternoon. Good luck, Esme. Seriously, Mr. Snuggles, her sweet eating is out of control. Mr. Snuggles, you're right. We can't stand by and do nothing. Welcome to the final of the Greater Zuzan Ping Pong Championship. Please welcome our finalists, Esme of Kitty Zuzaland and her arch rival, Barry Doo of the Doo Dynasty. <laughs> Let the battle commence!
10-6 to Barry Du. Esme is almost out of the competition. <gasps> I need some energy! Gummy strawberry! Okay, Mrs. Smuggles, when I click my fingers, Esme will turn into the next sweet she eats. Agreed? Great. And in a strange turn of events, Esme seems to have become a giant gummy strawberry. Now this is something we've never seen before in this competition, other competitions, and indeed anywhere on the planet in the history of ping pongery. This will surely stand against her in the competition. You are what you eat. <gasps> Olivia! about it. It's the final of Zusa Chef, and the battle for the title is almost over. Now, just two chefs remain. I just love food! I would give up being evil to win Zusa Chef. One final challenge stands between them and culinary immortality. This is where we find out what these chefs are really made of. Who will take home the crown? It's raw! Of Zusa Chef Champion. Chefs, welcome to the Zusa Chef Final. You've done so well to get this far, but none of it matters now. Three perfect plates of food, three hours, Let's cook! <laughs> Evil chef Malice has surprised Gordon throughout the competition with some truly exquisite dishes. Right, Malice, what are you going to be cooking for us today? Today I'm going to be cooking French onion tart with butternut puree, then white truffle risotto, and for the pudding, lemon cheesecake with raspberry coulis. Sounds like you've got a lot on your plate. Uh, yes I do. I said you've got a lot on your plate. It's a joke, yeah? It's funny. <laughs> Malice has got some bold flavours. But I'm not sure she's going to finish in time. Esme has impressed throughout the competition by making all her dishes using chocolate. I just love chocolate! Mm. Right Esme, what are your three dishes? Well Gordon, I've decided to stick with what I'm best at and I'm going to be making three chocolate based dishes. First, chocolate salad with grated chocolate. Then, chocolate burger with chocolate fries and chocolate ketchup. And for dessert, chocolate. Combining chocolate and chocolate. Aren't you taking a bit of a risk? It's a final of Zeus, Chef. No risk, no reward. Esme, good luck. Thank you, Chef. I'm worried about Esme's menu. Chocolate and chocolate? It's never been done before. Chefs, you are halfway through. Halfway through! Good cooking, it's a taste. Every five 
five seconds, I would say. Ooh, look. And to go. And again. Need more chocolate. Chefs, we have ten minutes left. <gasps> ten minutes. These look disgusting. Let's hope they don't taste disgusting. Not enough salt. Bland. Tasteless. <gasps> I thought I was evil, but this guy is a whole new level. I thought my food was delicious. <laughs> right, Esme, your turn. Is this some kind of joke? Um. Where's all the food? I was always taught to taste everything. Yeah, a small amount. Don't eat the whole dish. I prefer it this way. Right, none of you have one. You're both terrible. Your food was either awful or it wasn't there at all. Don't get me started on presentation. Where's your love? Where's your passion? You guys have a passion of a rotten old sock. Sometimes I wonder why I became a chef in the first place, having to put up with oafs like you. 